Gonna make a video today that might be interesting to some of you guys. Work. I'm actually gonna drive the 36 horse up some same some of the same roads, and I'm gonna drive the 40 horse with the power up kits that I have on it. And let's talk about first of all the comparison, so that you know that this is not a complete power comparison between the 40 horse and the 36 horse, but you can kind of know what it was like driving the two different cars um, so you can kind of compare it that way but <clears throat> remember this this car originally came with a crash box and that's what it has in it first gear no synchro and uh, according to ratwell.com we'll look at that real quick if you look here at ratwell under the gear ratio section uh, the 36 horsepower engine with the stock crash box had a 122 third and a 0.794 and if you look here at the 61 to 65 which is the full case transmission they both had what the hell 437 yeah that's right 437 gears and uh, if you look at the fourth gear third and fourth gear there's 132 and 89 so Third gear is a little taller, supposed to be a little taller in the crash box. And uh, fourth gear is a little shorter in the in the uh, full case transmission. So anyway, there's always a lot of people that say that 36 horsepower was a lot slower than the 40 horse. And well, the 40 horse that I'm using obviously has powered up quite a bit. So there's not a real comparison there either, but from my experience driving the 36 horse and the 40 horse, when I had my 57 bug, I had a full case transmission. I did not have the crash box in it. It was upgraded to the to the newer transmission, and uh, I had the 36 horse in that, and I had the 30 40 horse in my other car. And honest to goodness, I, I couldn't really tell you which one had more power. They were they were about the same. And a lot of people will tell you that the 36 horse didn't have as much power as the 40 horse. Well, I think it made up for it on torque is where, you know, it, it had maybe more torque or something like that. And uh, the 36 horse, to me, was about the same. I couldn't really tell much difference when it had the same gearing. Now, I think what the reason people always thought that the 36 horse was so much slower is because it had that fourth gear ratio and the taller third gear ratio, and it made it feel less power in those gears because first and second feels about the same. When I notice the differences in third gear, but I do notice it can rev, I can get a lot more speed out of third in this than I can in the other bug, in the other one. So we're going to kind of look at those things. I'm going to do a drive in this car. I'm going to put you guys right in the driver's seat, uh, and I can get it without the camera wiggling like I did the last one. Uh, just got it figured out. Towards the end of the video, the camera wasn't bouncing around. so uh, And that way you can see the speedometer, you can see what it does climbing the hills, and uh, I'm going to find a place so I can actually get it up to speed so you can really see the difference in the same direct comparison. All right, so I think I got the thing situated here. So you can see... Should be able to see the speedometer okay. Yeah, you should be okay there in the road a bit. So, I'm gonna uh, do a couple different things in this video. Uh, I'm gonna kind of do the, the same route. And uh, okay, this car here is a little bit lowered, so it's gonna have a little bit different camera angle. But um, the other car isn't, so. Which shouldn't make any difference on any of this stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, climb a hill. And I'll show you what it's like climbing a hill in one of these. Especially when now the thing is the problem with this car is third gear is uh, well third gear is higher gear ratio than the other one if you looked at the charts 
you'll notice that the, high, the third gear ratio is a lot higher and the fourth gear ratio is, is way higher than that. So, or actually the third gear ratio, yeah, it's a little bit higher. I can't remember. <laughs> you figure it out. I'm gonna catch this group of cars up here. Bummer is I got traffic right now, so. back into third a lot earlier on this one. Fourth gear is so tall. So that was one of the reasons I think people always thought the 36 horsepower was so much slower is because of the transmission gears. that I have in the other car is a 1384 kit and it also has the uh, uh, 1600 rockers which are one and an eighth to one so you get there's a lot more power than just a regular 40 horse but it kind of gives you the idea of how much more power a 40 horse when you do the upgrades it's to it because it's really Again, when I used to drive 36s and 40s, they were almost the same to me. And it was because I had them in the same gear ratio transmissions. intersection so that I never know which lane to be in now. places for the gas pedal it's on the floor or idle I mean 
I feather it a little bit when I'm trying to maintain the speed, but acceleration, you're just flooring it every time. Bit cold out today. right there I haven't driven the other car yet in fact I haven't driven in a long time
everybody wants to pass the Volkswagen. <laughs> in the woods the whole time. So when I get up here, I'll have to let off the gas right here. Speed limit's only 50. this time of day this would have the least amount of traffic otherwise I would have taken you on an uphill uh, on-ramp which would be a better comparison um, but uh, unfortunately traffic's kind of heavy and it looks like we're gonna get some rain here and uh, I can't really do that comparison I'm going to go ahead and shut you down. We're going to get the other car. We're going to do the same route. And then I'm going to show you that you can take a look at the differences. And I'm going to let you guys uh, put the times, you know, where exactly where the time was to switch. The first person to do that, I'm going to pin your comment. And your comment will be on the top forever. So um, pin the time of when the next video starts for the next guy and pin the direct comparison things, whatever you pin, 
whenever you put down the the times, and then I'll I'll run yours at the top, the most the, the best one. All right, talk to you in the next video. Please like, share. Oh no, we're not gonna do that yet. All right, so we're gonna film the same route we did with the other one, and you guys should really notice. I noticed right away getting in this thing. There's immediate difference in power. I don't have to floor it at all on this car. And I should be able to make it up at fourth, but then again, I do have a lower fourth gear. But I, I've never really done this drive um, going this way. I don't normally go this way, so. There's just so much more immediate power. I just barely touch the gas and it's got power. Versus the other one, you have to pretty much feel the floor before it starts to move. Spot here. I want to make sure I've got a bit of room between all these cars. Uh, you guys can see the speedometer okay, looks like to me. We're going to make another run at this, see if I got a clear shot. Looks like I do. Powerhouse 1500. <laughs> it's funny, but going downhill, it doesn't pick up much more speed. Okay, this is floored. As long as I don't see any cops, we'll be alright. I'll have to slow down. This thing's going 58. up this hill no problem that's a lot more power than the other one and I have to let off on the gas right here it'll just speed up to 60 so I'm only just barely touching the gas now and I'm going uh, 52 53 I don't even have to floor it going up this part. A part of that's the gearing, so I think Volkswagen to make everybody, I almost think that they were probably, the 36 and the 40 were probably rated about the same horsepower, but they gave it a couple more horsepowers to make you, because they took gearing at a fourth gear it made it feel like you had a little bit more horsepower <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking they did because when I've had a 40 horse and a 36 horse with the same tranny I can't really tell the difference There's, they're both really slow so I'm just let off of the gas I've given up on flooring it I can speed back up if I want to you can just watch the speedometer I'll just speed right back up no problem it's just more like a like about like a 1500. doesn't have caster shims so it's a little bit you can feel the front starting to wander a little bit more than the other car
this car is 12 volt. so much harder in fourth. notice the difference between this motor and the other is when you're going slightly uphill like right here it just pulls it just keeps pulling hard it doesn't start to lose its energy because you got dents all over your car. I don't know what you're doing. Slowing down in the fat. Texting. There you go. Having a complete conversation, pushing buttons on your phone while you're driving. Just flat out dumb. Just barely touching the gas in this car. Most of the time, that's where you really notice the difference. The other one, you're just floored. This one, you're just barely touching the gas.
driving this car as a daily wouldn't be that bad. It gets around very quickly. But it's still a VW and it's old. Very old car. Between this one and the other one on the freeway is this thing starts to run out of RPMs. The other one doesn't, it just runs out of power. I don't even need to rev it up as high as the other one, it's all at the bottom. go 80 probably right here easily but I can't do it let's see if I can pass this guy Pretty much topped out, that's about 4,000 RPMs. You can't cruise at that speed on the freeway, but the other one, with the other, the other tranny, it's way higher. It's definitely, I can really feel it. I haven't driven the comparison between the two. And this one here is screaming. <laughs> the other one's like, not at all. All right, so anyway, that's it for the comparison there. I'll talk to you guys in the next video, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe.